A long overdue honor for a barrier breaking baseball player. Alex Perez with the story. Long before baseball giants like slugger Juan Soto, shortstop Francisco Lindor, or right fielder Ronald Acuna Jr. became stars of the game, there was third baseman Minnie Minoso, the very first Afro Latino in Major League Baseball history. As the color barrier fell, he joined the Cleveland Indians in 1949 and was the very first black player to bat for the Chicago White Sox in 1951, a relationship that would last more than 60 years. May 1st, 1951, his first at bat, he hits a home run. Mm -hmm. And moments before that, he was being called every name in the book, every, <laughs> every slur imaginable. Even though his extraordinary talent spoke for itself, his son, Charlie Rice Minoso, points out it was the color of his skin that became the focus. His older brother would sometimes travel with their dad. He would often say how they'd have to stay at different hotels as dad's white teammates. The death threats that, that sometimes he would receive, the names that he would be called. Overt racism and discrimination were the norm when Minoso debuted with the White Sox. Not only was he facing the same uh, discrimination that other uh, dark-skinned players were, he, he also um, was trying to navigate some of those, um, you know, just his immigrant story. He was still trying to na navigate uh, life in a new country, life in a new culture. A story that started in his native Cuba, where he was born Saturnino Orestes Armas Minoso Arrieta, playing professional baseball on the Caribbean island before moving to the Negro Leagues, where he played for the New York Cubans and simplified his name, fashioning his new first name, Minnie, out of his last name. He died in 2015, but now more than 71 years since that first home run with the White Sox, Minnie Minoso's storied career, including nine All-Star games, three gold glove titles, and often hitting over 300, will live forever in Cooperstown. When he's inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame this weekend, his son will be right there. What's the bitter part? What's the sweet part? Uh, the sweet part is that uh, Dad's legacy is going to be enshrined among some of baseball's greatest players. The bitter part is that he's not here to enjoy it himself. Uh, it was one of his life's dreams, if not his life dream. A life dream that Mr. White Sox, as some called him, never got to realize, overlooked by the Hall of Fame for decades. But each time, he always seemed positive about it. Before and after, Dad was never bitter. Uh, that was that was something that I admired so much about him. If you only count as they did in the past, it's the statistics for, ma for Major League Baseball only playing in the National or American League like we do today, then Mini Minoso doesn't get to uh, 2,000 hits. So it's really interesting that including those three years of Negro Leagues gave him, you know, put him over that threshold of 2,000, also got his batting average to a high, you know, 299. And we are now finally recognizing all those Black and Afro-Latino athletes Right, and those African American athletes that were never recognized for their hard work and their major league performances in all those years. But Minoso was never deterred, continuing his work on the field and off, even after retirement, mentoring countless players, and advocating for a number of charities and causes. I had the privilege, honor of interviewing your father years ago, and I remember walking away thinking, not only is he talented, but also so inspirational, such sort of goodwill and just positivity was just coming out of him. And I'm so happy, so many things happy in my life. Is that the way he was all the time? He just, he loved life, he loved people. And the communities Minoso helped build loved him back. At White Sox Ballpark, his retired number nine, this life-size bronze statue. Give him a quick bear hug. Aww. From small portraits to massive ones, Minoso's legacy in this park and at home remain strong. He was a Hall of Fame dad. <laughs> he was just a Hall of Fame person. And now, finally, a Hall of Fame player. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.